Hey guys, welcome back, Emmanuel here. And the NBA season is just two months away and everything that was going to happen inside the off season, all the trades, all the big names getting moved have already happened. So it's safe to say and safe to make this video. This video is going to be five teams that you should look out for in the upcoming NBA season. I'm gonna do a countdown from number five all the way to number one, and I'm gonna explain to you guys why these teams should be on your radar. At number five, we have a team that's going to surprise you guys. Every year, I have a dark horse for the NBA. Last year, I had the Denver Nuggets, and look what happened. So this year, number five, I have the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yes, those Minnesota Timberwolves. Listen, for my entire life, the Minnesota Timberwolves have been irrelevant but it looks like the minnesota timberwolves are starting to make a turnaround at that franchise the best thing they ever did was draft anthony edwards he's just three years into his nba career and he's impacted that organization so much he is what Carl Anthony Towns was supposed to be for them in 2015. He has effectively become the number one guy in Minnesota that makes the team go, that everyone galvanizes around. His will to win is what allowed them to make the playoffs last year. I like what I saw from them last year, but then I also like what I'm seeing from them in the offseason. What do I mean? They last year traded for Rudy Gobert. They gutted their team and they, they gave up a bunch of draft capital for Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert was a nice, decent player, right? His forte was really defense. He's one defensive player of the year. He isn't really, he's a reliability on offense because he can't shoot threes. One of the big men in the league that can't shoot threes. But I like what I'm seeing from him in the offseason this time around. During the FIBA World Cup, he got a taste of what it could feel like to knock down threes. And because he did that in the world during the World Cup, it gave him enough confidence in order for him to actually try and incorporate three-point shooting into his game. And, and I've seen him work on that shot and it looks like he's being he's becoming serious about it. If he can become serious and become a real threat shooting the three ball, it opens up a lot of new opportunities for the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is what I like about the Timberwolves. They were able to not only make the playoffs last year, right? But they were one of the teams that actually beat the Denver Nuggets. We all know how good the Denver Nuggets were this past season. They actually swept the Los Angeles Lakers, but they didn't sweep the Timberwolves. Timberwolves had the same record against them as the Miami Heat. Think about that. And so because of that, because of what I saw from them last year, and the amount of work that Rudy Gobert is putting in, and I just know Anthony Edwards is gonna get better. He's playing with Team USA. He's going to just get better and better. I think you can expect to see the Timberwolves to be a bit better than they were last year. So that's my number five. At number four, I have the Sacramento Kings. You guys know what happened last year. The Sacramento Kings came essentially out of nowhere and surprised everyone last when they clinked the third spot in the Western Conference last year. And unfortunately, they lost in the first round to the defending champions, the Golden State Warriors. But that was just a clip, a preview of things to come. In my opinion, the Sacramento Kings draw a lot of comparison to the Golden State Warriors when the Warriors were just coming up. I can see a lot of the same things from them. They have a young guard in De'Aaron Fox that literally last year was the clutchest player in the fourth quarter by not by the numbers. They have a number two in Malik Monk, that's Clay Thompson. They have DeMontis Sabonis. And then furthermore, they have the perfect head coach for this team. They went out and they got Mike Brown, the same Mike Brown that coached the Warriors when Steve Kerr was going through health problems. So he brought a lot of what he knew, a lot of what worked for the Golden State Warriors over to Sacramento. And you saw how energetic that team was ready come playoff time. They took the Warriors all the way to game seven. Were it not for Stephen Curry being an all-time player and dropping 50 points in game seven, they would have made it to the second round. And honestly, maybe they would have fared better against the Lakers. But the good thing about that team is they're still young. So whatever we saw from them this past season, they're going to become better this year. I like that about them. I expect them to be number three again in the Western Conference. The amount of hype that people give the Memphis Grizzlies is the hype that they should give the Sacramento Kings. That's how good I think they are. They're going to just become better and better and better and expect them to give somebody a run for their money, expect them to give somebody problems in the playoffs next season. 